welcome to day seven of 21 days of yoga and congratulations we are one third through it Woo! <laughs> today we will be working on the lower body and we'll talk about worry we worry when we cannot control a situation often we get obsessed with things that aren't working the way we would expect or the way we would like them to be or even things that haven't even happened yet, therefore don't exist. We get so caught up in that, that we end up wasting our energy and time in something that we cannot control, or that may not even happen. Our brain turns blurry, and we can't see further than that. Sometimes it's about accepting, and other times is about giving the mind the space it needs to be present and to let life unfold as it is meant to do so. We can get started giving our mind the space it needs by getting started with our session right now. Let's do it. We'll start on a child pose today. Bring your knees wide and your arms forwards. Allowing the chest to melt in between your shoulders and your forehead to rest on your mat. Here, begin to feel your body, noticing what feels where. Noticing your breath coming in and out. What can you let go of here? Allow it to melt into the ground, creating new space in your mind. Breathe. Two big deep breaths in through your nose, out through your mouth, in through the nose and out. Make your way to down dog. Begin to bend one knee at a time, wiggling anything we need to wiggle out. You can say yes or no with your head, releasing any tension from your neck. Let's take a deep breath in and come back to stillness as you breathe out. Right leg up, inhale, bend your knee and open your hip to the left, breathe out. Keep pressing the glute with your heel, three-legged dog. One more breath in through the nose. Step down as you empty. Left leg up. Inhale. Bend your knee and open your hip to the right. Exhale. Keep pressing the glute with your heel. Three leg dog. One more deep breath in, step down and empty. One more breath in through the nose, little steps to the front of your mat, breathing out. 
Exhale, we lift. Inhale, broadening the collarbones. Forward fold, empty, belly brushing your thighs. Roll yourself up to standing with your head heavy. Arms around and above your head. Inhale. Fall forwards from your hips as you breathe out. Relax your head. Hands to your shin. Flat back. Inhale. Hands to the floor. Step back to high plank. Empty. Hands under your shoulders and spread your fingers. Broaden your collarbones and engage the core. Three more breaths here. Inhale through the nose. And exhale. Breathe in. Create space in between the shoulder blades. Breathe out, engaging the core. Breathe in and out. Shoulders forwards, knees to the ground. Inhale. Lower to the ground. Exhaling. Press with the top of your feet towards the ground. Low cobra. Inhale. Navel to the lower back. Down dog and empty. Four breaths here. Lengthen the sides of your body as you melt your heels towards the ground. Keep breathing through your nose. breath in and empty little steps to the front halfway lift breath in bring the shoulders back forward fold exhale relax your head roll yourself up to standing Arms to the sky. Breathe in. Forward fold from your hips. Breathe out. Halfway lift. Inhale, flat back. High plank. Knees to the ground. And exhaling all the way down. Low cobra or up dog breath in, down dog, breath out, three breaths here, in through the nose and out, keep going. Take little steps to the front of our mat. Halfway lift, broaden the collarbones and a breath in. Forward fold, empty your breath. Lift the head heavy and begin to roll yourself up to standing. Arms to the sky, inhaling. Hands to your heart as you breathe out. Feet hip distance apart or big toes touching, keeping a slightly separation in between your heels. 
reach up breathe in sing your hips low breathe out chair pose four breaths in through the nose and out inhale lengthen the spine exhale tuck the ribs in breathe in and out inhale forward fold exhale halfway lift breath in shoulders back hands to the floor step back to high plank and empty shoulders forwards knees to the ground inhale and lower all the way down exhaling press with the top of your feet to the ground and peel the chest off the ground low cobra or up dog on an inhale and then down dog as you breathe out right leg up to the sky inhale step in between your hands exhale you can always skip the foot with your hand our back foot is going to step out a little so that the feet are hips distance apart it's going to be flat on the floor at 45 degrees angle and our hips are going to be parallel forwards reach up for warrior one breath in soften in between your shoulders breathe out inhale find the length in the spine exhale tuck the ribs in inhale right hip pulls back exhale left hip pushes forwards breathe in and out breathe in open to the left breathe out warrior two heels in line with each other front knee on top of the ankle breathe in finding the length in the spine exhale tuck the ribs in breathe in look at the front hand exhale melt in between your shoulder blades inhale exhale reverse your warrior breathe in cut will your arms to the front and step back to a down dog and empty left leg up to the sky inhale step in between your hands exhale you can always scoop the foot with your hand our back foot is going to step out a little so that the feet are hips distance apart it's going to be flat on the floor at 45 degrees angle our hips are going to be parallel forwards and we're going to reach up for warrior one inhale soften in between your shoulders breathe out breathe in find the length in the spine exhale tuck the ribs in inhale left hip pulls back exhale right hip pushes forward breathe in and out inhale open to the right and empty warrior two inhale heels in line with each other exhale front knee on top of ankle breathe in find the length in the spine breathe out tuck the ribs in 
Inhale, look at the front hand. Exhale, melt in between your shoulder blades. Inhale. Exhale. Reverse your warrior. Breathe in. Cartwheel your arms to the front and empty. Down dog. Right leg up. Inhale. Step forwards. Exhale. This time, your toes are going to be tucked at the back and make sure that the feet are not in line with each other so that we have a strong base. Reach up with your arms for crescent lunge and keep breathing through your nose. If there's pressure in your lumbar, bend your back knee a little. Lengthen through the spine and tuck your ribs in. Feel grounding with the whole sole of your foot at the front and with your toes at the back. Right hip pulls back, left hip pushes forwards. One last breath in. Open to the left. Exhale, warrior two. Arms up, straightening the front leg. Inhale. Arms on a T. Exhale. Shift your shoulders to the right as you lengthen both sides of your body. Then right hand goes to the leg wherever it falls and left arm to the sky. Triangle pose. If you want to challenge your balance, you can give it a go and look up to the top hand. Coming out of the comfort zone and wobble a bit is great. One last breath in. Bend your right knee hands by the sides of your foot at the front and step back to down dog left leg up inhale step forwards exhale this time keep your toes tucked at the back and make sure that the feet are not in line with each other so that we have a strong base Reach up with your arms for crescent lunge and keep breathing through your nose. If there's pressure in your lumbar, bend your back knee a little. Lengthen through the spine and tuck your ribs in. Feel grounding with the whole sole of your foot at the front and with your toes at the back. Left hip pulls back, right hip pushes forwards. One last breath in, open to the right exhale warrior two arms up straightening the front leg inhale arms on a t breathe out shift your shoulders to the left as you lengthen both sides of your body the left hand goes down wherever it falls and right arm to the sky triangle pose if you want to challenge your balance you can give it a go and look up you're more than welcome to come out of your comfort zone and wobble one last breath in bend your left knee and hands by the sides of your front foot step back to down dog 
inhale through the nose and empty through the mouth <sighs> inhale and empty <sighs> right leg up breath in step forward breathe out keep your toes tucked at the back reach up Inhale, crescent lunge. Open to the left. Exhale, warrior two. Arms up, straight legs. Breath in. Triangle pose. Breath out. Inhale here. And hands to the front of your mat. Exhale. Step back to down dog. Left leg up, breath in. Step to the front, in between your hands and out. Keep your toes tucked at the back and reach up as you breathe in, crescent lunge. Open to the right, breathe out, warrior two. Arms up, straight legs, inhale. Triangle pose as you breathe out. Inhale here. And hands to the front. Step back to a down dog, breathing out. Take little steps to the front. Halve lift, inhale, forward fold and empty. And gently make your way to the ground however you like today. We are going to do 10 rock and rolls today. Perhaps watch first the three options that we have. First, simply hold your knees to your chest and rock forwards and backwards. We will inhale when we rock back and exhale when we rock forwards. Second option, we can start lifting the bum off the ground when we go forwards. So we will inhale going back, exhale going forwards and lifting the bottom off the ground a little. And the third option we can rock to standing. So we'll do the same but when we lift the bottom off the ground we'll go standing and then we'll make our way down and start again. There's no better or worse it's about where we are at this point. Today, I will choose the second option. Feel free to breathe on your own time and begin to rock forwards and backwards. For one. For two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Amazing. Now that we are on the ground, we'll do reclined pigeon. So bend your knees and bring the right ankle on top of the left thigh, flexing the foot. You can stay here or grab behind your knee or perhaps you may be able to reach your shin and press gentle towards your chest. Full breath. In and out through your nose. Mm -hmm. 
One last breath in. And out undoing the pose. We'll do whichever option we chose on this side. On the other side for four more breaths. One last breath in and out and doing the pose, getting ready for our relaxation, Shavasana or resting pose. Feet falling out. Feeling our toes, ankles, knees, hips. Completely relaxed, light and free. Palms of your hands facing up fingers, wrists, elbows and shoulders feeling completely relaxed, light and free. Soften all the muscles of your face, your jaw, Relax everything. Anun says, Worrying is pointless. Good and bad things will happen in life. Just be present and don't stress over what you can't control. Worrying about something really does mean you suffer twice. So quit worrying about something that might never happen and live for the present. Give yourself the space that you and your mind deserve. Relax.
Gently begin to connect to your breath and bring some movement back to the body by moving your fingers, your toes, bringing your arms above your head for a full body stretch. Being grateful for gifting this time to yourself. Thank you for practicing with me today. Namaste. If you like the video and would like to see more, don't forget to subscribe and give a thumbs up. It's free. I hope you have a wonderful day and see you soon. Bye. Thank you.